Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our day number 42. Math skill if you're preparing for SAT, GRE, or GMAT, this problem will help you quite a bit. Here's the question that I have for, uh, for you today, which is the question that I gave you as a homework a few days ago, a couple of days ago. The question is what is the remainder when 2 raised to 125 is divided by 5 question is what is the what is the remainder when 2 raised to 125 is divided by 5 and here are the answer choices one more time very simple straightforward question what is the remainder what is the remainder when you take 2 2 raised to 125 and you divide it by 5. What's the remainder? I'll give you a few seconds to pause and unpause the video. I want you to pause the video at this point, solve the problem yourself, do whatever it is that you have to do. Do not watch the rest of the video until you have solved it. Uh, if you cannot do it right away, want to do it later, tomorrow, whatever, it doesn't matter. If you want to ask somebody's help, if you want to ask for somebody's help, go ahead and do that. But don't watch it unless you know unless you have something else, unless you have some of your work to compare with it. Otherwise, it gives the game away. I'll be right back. I'll, I'll be out of the frame for about 10 seconds. I'll be right back. All right, the problem that I gave you, <coughs> as I told you a similar problem, was on day number 40. I gave you a similar problem on day number 40, a problem that was a little bit simpler than this one, just a little bit more complicated. That's why I gave you that one first, so that you can you can try that one first and then, then go for this one. So let's, let's do it together then. 2 raised to 15, uh, 2 raised to 125, question is what's the remainder? Let's, let's take a look at it, see what we have here. 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048. Let's just see what happens if we try to divide these numbers by 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 five. Because what we're trying to see here, if there is a, what we're trying to see here is that uh, is is to see what we're trying to ascertain is that is that if there is a there is a pattern here, and of course there's a pattern here. There has to be a pattern because otherwise, uh, obviously, we don't. Nobody expects a anyone to do this problem, so a problem like this manually, obviously, you will be sitting here forever. Even your calculator cannot handle this, something like this, 2 raised to 125 is a very large number. So we are looking for a pattern, there has to be a pattern. What happens if I divide 2 by 5? The remainder is going to be 2. You see, if I divide 2 by 5, how many 2's in a 5? How many, how many 5's in a 2? There are 0 5's in a 2 because 2 is too small. So 5 times 0 is 0 and then the remainder is 2. What's going to be the remainder if I divide 4 by 5? The remainder is going to be 4. What's going to be the remainder if we divide 8 by 5? The remainder is going to be 3. What's going to be the remainder if we divide 16 by 5? The remainder is 1. 30, this is 32, the remainder is 2. 60, this is 64, remainder is 4. 
125, it will, anything that ends in a 5 or a 0 is divisible by 5. It's very simple. If it ends in a 5 or a 0, then it goes evenly. If you have anything extra, that's your remainder. 125 would be even. It go evenly into 5. 128 will have a remainder of 3. 256. Well, 255 will go nicely into 5. 256 will have a remainder of 1. 510. 510 will go nicely into 5. 512 will have a remainder of 2. Remainder of 4. Remainder of 3. So let's see if there's a pattern. Well, not, not uh, let's see if there's a pattern, but rather let's see what the pattern is. Because we know there has to be a pattern. Right here is the pattern, you see? Let me use a, a red color marker so we can see it. 2, 4, 3, 1. 2, 4, 3, 1. 2, 4, 3, 1. The next one is going to be 4,000 and whatever that is. 48 times 2. Will be 50, 96. You see, it will have a remainder of 1. So there's a pattern here. There's going to be 1 here somewhere with this guy. So there's a pattern 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 3, 1, 2, 4, 3, 1, 2, 4, 3, 1. It repeats itself. The question is how many times, how many, how many uh, segments uh, will we have in this series? Well, each segment is made up of four parts. We have all together 125 power. This is the power of 1, this is the power of 2. Oh, I shouldn't put it here. Well, it doesn't matter in top, of, in top of 2, it doesn't matter. This first number was 2 raised to 1, then 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3, 2 raised to 4. This is 2 raised to 8, this is 2 raised to 12. Is it? 9, 10, this, this is 11. We didn't go up to 12. 2 raised to 9, 2 raised to 10, 2 raised to 11, and so forth. So how many fours, how many segments of four do we have in 125? Let's find that out very quickly. 125 divided by four, four goes into 12 three times, and then four goes into five one time, with a remainder of one. We'll have one. So in other words, we'll have 13, we will have, not 13, rather 31. 31 complete segments. And I shouldn't have started with the segment because I don't know how to spell segments. If the spelling is off, then you correct it yourself. We'll have 31 complete segments and then one more to go. If you have one more to go, if you have a remainder of one, then the last number that we'll end with will be two. If we had 31 complete segments, we would have ended at one. If we had a remainder of two, we would have ended up here. If you had a remainder of 3, we would have ended up here, and so forth. And of course, there will be no such thing as remainder of 4, because we are dividing it by 4. So if you had a, a four, 4 left over, we would have gone one more segment. So anyway, the answer is 2. The answer is 2. That's it. That's it. We are done. Therefore, the remainder is 2. 31 complete series, and then one more. 31 complete segments. And then one more. That's that's what that's what 125 is. 125 equals 31 times 4 plus 1. And that extra one tells us that we'll end up here. Or here, or here, wherever it is, the first first of the segment, which is the remainder of two. That's it, that's all there was. That was the end of the problem for today. I will see you tomorrow on day number 43 and I have a nice geometry problem for tomorrow but a problem that will that is challenging and then on 44 we have something to do with them but I won't give it away anyway I'll see you I'll see you tomorrow if you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring or either face to face or via internet via Skype over the internet via Skype for GRE, GMAT, SAD, TOEFL or for Algebra, Geometry, Statistics. You can go to any of these website addresses that you see there and send me an email. Or you can go to keshmaniprep.com and you can send me an email from there.